Happy Friday night, everybody. At least Friday night while we're shooting this. Look at this parking job. Congratulations. I'm down by International Drive, heading over to Wyndham, Orlando, for Spring Spooky, Spooky Empire 2018. Freddy Krueger's here, and so is Medieval Times, and so is Jason. Whoa, look at this thing. That's pretty awesome. What? Nice. The passenger seat. It's a decapitated victim. Right, we made it into Spooky Empire finally. In the lobby, we've got our wristband. And we're gonna head inside. Mini Predator in the house. Morton Manor's over here. Oh, it's over that way. All right, we made our way in. I don't know where to go first. Got t-shirts. I do like that number one t-shirt. It's cool. Prints, patches, stuff. So there are a lot of booths and not a lot of people. So I feel really awkward filming anything. It might be a very quick walkthrough. Salt, and you will end right here. It'll be amazing. And if you totally screw it up, None of these people will catch you because they'll all be on their cell phones. What you're going to do is you're going to stand here and here. Not really there or there, but there. Put one foot there. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter if he's okay. Take a photo of this. Awesome. Now make some noise for me, Orlando! Take a couple of steps back. Take a couple steps back. This is kind of like the splash zone over at SeaWorld, only with concrete. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Loving me. You're going to watch me live out the greatest moment of my life. Ready? Everyone, count with me. One, two, three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's the impenetrable Sinister Mr. Six. Welcome to the International Drive Amusement Park, the Orlando Eye, and the new swing set. I am back home. Spooky Empire was a little bit of a wash today. I honestly think um, they had probably more people that were vending than they did attending um, the event. So it was a little quiet. Uh, we're going to try to get back there again uh, a little bit tomorrow maybe, and then Sunday, um, hopefully with Mary and possibly um, Jess, to get the... Um, vendors in and you know see the, some of the celebrities and all that good stuff sooner than say it was um, bad Because um, I think the events are normally really good. We're just gonna put a pin in it and we will be back It's Saturday. It's round two it's Spooky Empire. We're back in walking the floor Back with Jason masks like last year Twisted sister because of JJ French being here this year Very cool our favorite shop the coffee shop of horrors Mary loves buying their coffee. So today, main event Q&A session is Vinnie Vincent, formerly a KISS in the Vinnie Vincent Invasion. He's here to do Q&A and sign autographs and take pictures. We're gonna get online for the Q&A session. Literally all of Mystery Science Theater 3000 just walked by. We're coming in for Vinny the Vincent. All right, so I thought I would break into the video here because I think Casual viewers of the channel may not know who Vinnie Vincent is and why is Vinnie Vincent at Spooky Empire. Vinnie Vincent was the guitar player that replaced Ace Freely in the band Kiss um, and actually played on the record Creatures of the Night, although Ace Freely's picture is on that record. Um, toured with the makeup the last time that Kiss wore makeup before they uh, went to their non makeup phase. Um, played on the record Lick It Up, toured for Lick It Up, um, and actually wrote some of the songs for the, band, for the album Revenge. Um, or that we use for revenge many years later, um, but was kicked out of KISS um, somewhere in like 1984-ish. I may be getting that wrong. If KISS fans are out there, please don't kill me for that. He then formed Vinnie Vincent Invasion, um, and their second record, which I believe is All Systems Go, contained the song Love Kills, which was used in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. As it seemed like the band was gaining in popularity, it turns out that Mark Slaughter and Dana Strum, who were the singer and bass player for Vinnie Vincent, ended up leaving, forming the, uh, forming the band Slaughter, 
having much more success on their own, um, and Vinnie Vincent basically went into seclusion for the better part of the last 20 years. The individual that runs Spooky Empire, Petey, is actually a huge KISS fan and got his start on the convention circuit working the initial KISS conventions up in the New York, New Jersey area, um, and that's where he learned his trade to bring to you Spooky, and that's why Vinnie Vincent is here. Back to the video. And, uh, let's just bring them out. So everybody, thanks for Vinnie Vincent. Question here, Vinny. Are you ready? I am ready, yes. Okay. As a kid, did you prefer horror movies that were the Hitchcock style, meaning lots of suspense, the Hollywood thriller type, the universal type with Wolfman and Frankenstein, or the Toho Godzilla type? Um, or was it a combination of those? Or what, what were your favorite sort of uh, monster or horror movies back then? I have really definite memories of uh, watching Godzilla. And uh, I, I had to be seven years old. <laughs> and it, it was the Raymond Burr one. Oh, yeah. The original, the original one. The or 58. And, and it was so real to me, you know, and I, I just, that, that hooked me. And I said, love it, love it, love it, give me more of this stuff, you know. And then the giant behemoth, I remember. Yeah. And, and these, I mean, they were done so realistically to me, you know, at least they seemed like it. But they're still great to this day because they had, they had like a, a, a storyline. And and uh, I, I loved it until I got to about uh, I remember it's about 1962 or 63, and uh, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> and it's, I said, "Jeez, this is scary." <laughs> <laughs> you know. And then the Wilbur and uh, you know it's like. He chick, Wilbur and chick, you know, and, he, and then Frankenstein and Dracula rises up, and I'm going, oh god, I can't look at this. You know, it, it scared the hell out of me. So, when I was, I think I was about nine, nine years old. You guys have much more, much more stamina than, than I do, because that stuff scares me. You know, mm -hmm. stays with me too long. So, you know, no, I can't, I can't see chopping up people. It's, you guys are good at that, but it, you can't do it. You, know? well, you should see them. Have you seen some of the people here? They're walking around with the most elaborate costumes. God, look at the, the Since we are here at the wonderful Spooky Empire convention in Orlando, we wanted to ask a couple of more questions that are movie related. So, uh, being that you have talked a lot here over the last several months, about your trials and tribulations moving along over the last 20 years, mm -hmm. what what movie would you describe that to be if you had to use a movie title? Midnight Express. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody know that movie? Yeah. 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 No, I don't, I don't know. Yes. That, that, that was the one where the guy was locked in the prison. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And that's where it was. It, had, it was. Uh, very well secured in prison. <laughs> and uh, there was that moment where you know he got out. You know? That the taste of freedom. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you remember that moment? Oh gosh, yes. You yeah, remember? He snuck out. Remember where he was losing his mind and you know all that started to happen. It's a classic. Yeah. You remember when uh, everything was like uh, he, his parents would come and see him and he'd, and he'd be up behind the, the class and he couldn't get out and and he said, "We'll send something for you to get out." He never did. You know? And then there was that moment where, you know. You truly could believe it. I said, I know this. I know, back, I know, I know nice. this moment. Yeah. So, Come on, Robert. Going back. Going back is actually probably the, the, most, uh, the most appreciation I have ever had for life is, is right at this moment right now, you know. And you know, you get to, you really don't know. How, how, at least I don't. I didn't, never knew how precious this life here was. That would, that that we're all living, you know. Because I never, I never thought about it. And I kiss the ground I walk on every day, and that's really the truth now, you know. 
and I get to say, you know, the sky's really blue, the grass is really green, you know, everything smells so great. I got flowers on my table, every day, you know, real flowers, because, because I need all that sensory, you know, it's all sensory for me now. Yeah. And it used to be, but, but I wasn't taking, taking note of it until now. So I really appreciate it. Everything is, I mean, seeing, seeing everyone come to see me is uh, just something I never thought I would live to see, you know. I never thought anyone was out there. Is there five Vinnies over there? Yeah. <laughs> five five Vinnies. It's a band. It's a band. This is so beautiful. I'm so honored. My God. Five Vinnies. Five Vinnies. Oh, oh God. Thank you so much. I Are any of those your cousin? Because that'd be my cousin. <laughs> If, you, if you're not my cousin, you can be my cousin. <laughs> Where where's, revenge. The, where's the Vinnie Vincent vault? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's, it's something you know, it, it was called the Vinnie Vincent Archives, and everybody still keeps asking me for it, and they keep misunderstanding what originally happened. But uh, at, at the time when I, I said, you know, I have all this material, I should let everyone hear it. This is going back to t about 22 years ago. And... I made the mistake of, of I had everything I had all of I had everything compiled I had all the artwork done I had the boxes made <laughs> I mean I went broke putting it together you know because I wanted everybody to, to have something nice so then the lawsuit happened this whole thing you know my, everything that happened to me just got you know it was like a jet engine sucking me and never came back out so. Um, <sighs> It, it went into hibernation until now. So all of this is gonna be on that Vinnie Vincent archives. All of this, all the writing sessions from the Revenge record, all of the jam sessions I used to bring, all the rehearsals um, from, from Creatures of the Night. Um, God, there's so many. Uh, creatures, look it up, we had all the, all the early writing, you know, where we'd have our guitars sitting around saying, well, how about this, how about this? No, I don't like that, you know, how about this? Yeah, that's good, you know, that kind of thing. But it's interesting for me because I love, I would love to hear that. You know, I would always love to think in my mind, what would it be like to hear, you know, a tape of Lennon, John Lennon, Paul McCartney writing, you know, She Loves You. Oh, yeah. You know, just to hear them it's write nice it, you know, if, uh, just a tape, you know. Hear the process. Hear the process. So. That process, you know, I used to record all the time just, just to see how, how, you know, if it sounded good to me. I mean, never for anything more than that. But uh, all the rehearsals with, uh, with Eric and Gene and myself, Gene, and Gene, me and Eric used to record, uh, used to jam a lot, you know, every, at rehearsal. And we used to love to play uh, Zeppelin and Jeff Beck songs. So, you know, all, all of these were, were captured. And they were, they were really great. And in the middle of all that, you know, we'd sing, Gene sing one, you know, some some of the songs that we were working on for that time period. And uh, I mean, he's my favorite bass player. And that, that really is the truth. I love the way he plays bass. So when, when he plays bass, I get, you know, electric shocks. So it, it makes me want to shock him back. You know? <laughs> oh, he's kidding. I'm just getting started. <laughs> You your, your old Vinny's back, I hope. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I never left. That's what separates you, you know? Well, so far in your career, though, what is the one thing that you're most proud of accomplishment-wise? Ah, uh, wow. You can pick a couple. It, 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 it was, it was like, uh, it's more, I think the question is more not what, but that I did accomplish it, you know, because I can't believe I'm sitting here talking to you guys and that all these beautiful people, you guys are here, you know?
stumbled upon Johnny and Melissa from Haunt Scene getting the proper picture set up. You guys should be following Johnny and Melissa, Haunt Scene videos on YouTube. These guys literally cover all of our spooky goodness around Orlando and other areas. They were just up at Trans World in St. Louis. It's the magic behind the scenes. All right, Spooky Empire, day two, Saturday. We're out of here for now. We'll be back again tomorrow. I love Costa Rica. It's Sunday. We're back. Spooky Empire 2018, spring spooky. Mary sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. We've not had um, a tremendous amount of success the last two days that we were here. We're gonna make it all work out today. I'm gonna show you the vendor floors, some tattoos, cosplay, celebrities, um, real life, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers fighting each other, a Vasilaraptor, this trailer, we see it all. Check out this Walking Dead car. Not only are all these guys painted on here, it's signed by everybody. I got little figures up there too. Oh my god, Rip Tyrese. That's ridiculous. Hey, you dumbass. We're coming in. It's a spooky empire booth. Lots of spookiness, including Vinnie Vincent. Before you drive, Pikachu? Caricatures. Mary's looking around. It's a lot of artists. Mostly artists and t shirts. We got some bootlegs. Bootlegs, my favorite. More art. I love Dave Cook. These are the folks that made our gingerbread man Gen 1 that they had, which is sold out here. You can go to their Etsy store, though. It's at, uh, Image Motor Productions. Now oh, they've got the stab version. The fire version is amazing. I had considered buying it the other day. I didn't pull the trigger, though. We've got the baby compies. I love that. Can we get a life-size dog head replica? I'm gonna get a shirt from Dave. Perhaps an art print. I like that trick and treat. This one's awesome also. Alien. Gotta watch out for that face hugger. Wow. Elvira. 20 bucks. This is pretty awesome. Little Lily, I love it. You need a whole bunch of masks. Maybe the Misfits. My personal favorite, Blackula. Let's snuggle. Puppet Master. What? This is the autograph room. Linda Blair is not here yet. There's Alex Vincent from Child's Play. We've got David Newton over there. Butch Patrick, Colonel Sanders. Uh, Yep, and Animal House people. It's a scary, scary convention. JJ French from Twisted Sister back there behind Ash. Very good looking Ash. And uh, over here, the drummer from uh, Stray Cats. Uh, creature from the Black Lagoon over there, security. Well, interesting jump cut. Uh, we're back home. We went to eat something. Spooky Empire, uh, very small this year. Um, I really do appreciate that it's a uh, con that's kind of not these megalomaniac corporations that own it that push out these gigantic convention things where people get lost etc it's still very much small fan base and um, community feel or vibe to it um, but there really wasn't a lot to see this year and it's tough to try to justify um, really um, gushing about the event because there was you know very very little to see every day that we went still a really fun time but you know we I think we need more vendors and bigger talent lineup sometime and things like that but in any event we'll look forward to spooky when the Halloween event comes out later this year so for now thank you very much for coming along thank you for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys. Subscribe to the Cheap Seats. Otherwise, 
they'll be looking dreams for you.